What's up everybody, it's Taco. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the Alvin and the Chipmunks music going on behind me, but I'm at school right now and there's a kindergarten dance class going on behind me. It's adorable, uh, but that's what the music is. So I'm not just at home listening to Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't do that today, I do that on Sundays because that's my day. Uh, Oregon takes on Washington State tomorrow night, seven o'clock at Autzen Stadium. I believe it's a Fox Sports One jam, uh, which means that some of you might not be getting it. Thanks cable, thanks satellite. Maybe everybody gets all the channels one day I don't know uh, they will be wearing the ducks I mean will be wearing pink helmets pink cleats pink gloves pink whatever in support of breast cancer awareness after the game they'll be taking 25 of the helmets and auctioning them off with a hundred percent of the proceeds going to the Kay Yao foundation uh, that supports cancer research which is the thing you want to support cancer research not cancer awareness necessarily um, Cancer awareness is great. Early screenings, um, making sure people know to get checked for breast cancer, that's all well and good. Um, but cancer research is what's going to find a cure. And that's the one that I like. Um, and so I like this idea. K, yeah, the KL Foundation, the former NC State basketball coach, women's basketball coach. Um, and it's one of the good ones. So in terms of Oregon doing the pink thing, which I think is oversaturated at this point a little bit in sort of the public eye in terms of football, uh, it's pretty good. And this is sort of the best case scenario. Aesthetically, with the black uniforms, the thin little yellow stripe, the only real color besides black and silver, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you look at a team like the Oakland Raiders or the Baltimore Ravens in uh, the NFL and look at how they look compared to the Green Bay Packers or the Cleveland Browns or a team with a lot of different colors um, The difference is very very clear black and pink is not a bad color combination So in terms of aesthetics and the look of the game It's not gonna look too terrible, but it's gonna look a little weird seeing Oregon in pink on to the game Last time we talked about the Oregon defense stopping Connor Halliday and the Washington State offense today We're talking Washington State defense versus the Oregon attack um, this is not a bad Washington State defense. Um, Paul Wolf made a mess of things and Mike Leach is sort of digging their way out. And a Washington State's defense is never going to be really great or elite under Mike Leach. What he needs is a defense that can do enough things to support the offense to win games. And so far they've done pretty well at that. Um, they held USC to seven points, though I think USC held themselves to seven points in that game. Um, and they've been pretty good against the run so far this year, 3.8 yards per carry allowed. Um, they've done really well. Cyrus Cohen and uh, Daryl Monroe are very good at the linebacker position. Um, I think that could have something to do with the fact that they've played teams like Cal and uh, Oregon State that don't have any semblance of a running game. Um, and the two really, I think, good running teams they've played, Stanford and Auburn, have both averaged over six yards a carry against the Cougs. So the stats may be a little skewed that way, but still 3.8 yards a carry is a good number. Um, another thing about this Washington State defense is their red zone numbers. They're only allowing uh, three red zone attempts per game. Only the opposing teams are only getting the red zone three times per game, and they're only scoring on two-thirds of those trips. Uh, those are very good numbers. That being said, Washington State's still giving up over 25 points a game, and that's got to do with big plays. Washington's given up already 32 plays of 20 yards or more this season. That's a lot, and that's not a good number to have on your resume when you're going up against a team like Oregon who leads the country in plays of 20 yards or more. Uh, be sure to check out the AddictedToQuack.com game thread to chat with fellow Duck fans while the game's going on tomorrow night. For my game prediction, you can follow me on Twitter or on Vine at Takimoto23x. And go Ducks, have a great another football weekend. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be sitting on the couch drinking beers, doing nothing but watching college football all weekend because that's what you deserve. For AddictedToQuack.com, this is Takimoto, go Ducks.